we buy more TTs in the UK than anywhere else in Europe. The radical design of the original was a really big hit, and the new car is just ever so slightly more aggressive. The cabin's less domey and a bit more coupe-ish. The new family grille gives it a sterner face, and the lights are apparently inspired by a tiger ready to pounce. Now, although the new TT is actually quite a lot bigger than the old car, they've made good use of alloy and aluminium to make the car actually quite a lot lighter, which is good. There's also an option of modifying the way the car goes round a corner using magnetic dampers, which is good. Inside, you'll find that the cabin's a whole ugh, eight centimetres longer, but you sit a lot lower too, so it feels a lot bigger and there's a whole heap more headroom which is also good. So on paper, this car is very good, but I want to know about the driving. At launch, there are two versions. This one uses a two-litre turbo straight out of the Golf GTI and costs just under 25 grand. There's also a 3.2-litre V6, complete with four-wheel drive, that's 30 grand. The V6 is a lot sweeter delivery multi-cylinder feels a lot more smooth whereas this is a little bit more aggressive it's more like a hot hatch and i actually prefer this four cylinder turbo motor just a bit more fun you also get a choice of two gearboxes it's a six speed manual as standard or you can option this dsg or what audi are calling it now the s-tronic system which is that wicked dual clutch thing listen to this again and again and again it's like just it's almost just like you're playing tunes with the exhaust. It's a really fantastic system, and it's £1,450 pounds in the UK. That's not bad. Now, how do you reckon they've made this 50% stiffer than the old car, and it certainly feels like it? Much more insistent at the wheel. You turn this in, and it reacts virtually instantly. It's not an out-and-out -out sports car, but you can certainly get away with quite a lot, which means it's safe, you know, a little bit of understeer, quite well balanced. You can really chuck this in with no fear of death. This is a great car. It's beautifully made, it's rewarding to drive, it's still the most head-turning design out there. Do you know what? I was genuinely afraid that Audi were going to over-promise and under-deliver with the new TT. I thought it'd be more of the same, more of a looking-at car than a driving thing, but it's genuinely entertaining and something I'd really consider buying now. For a smidge, under the 3.2's cost price, you could have this 2-litre turbo and the DSG gearbox and the big wheels. Well, you've got to have a bit of bling, haven't you?